And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge. This time, convertme.py description. Run the Python script and convert the given number from decimal to binary to get the flag. So I'll download that, drag it onto my desktop. And I'm going to open it up in VS Code. And we'll go ahead and we'll run this without debugging initially. And we'll see what it does. So at the bottom it says, if 83 is in decimal base, what is it in binary base? And there are many ways you can approach this. We'll cover a few. You could break out a calculator and put it in programming mode. And then we want to do a decimal number. We're interested in 83, 83 in decimal. We can see down here in its binary representation. So 101, 0011. Let's see if I copied that right. That looks correct to me. And we get our flag. We also, we have the code right here, so we can take a look at it. And it's relatively straightforward. I always like to collapse functions just to make my life easier. And then let's set a breakpoint. We'll start debugging. And we can see we have an encrypted flag that's coming through here. We use the random number generator that's present in uh, Python to select a number we see over there we picked 94 and we get our prompt which we'd seen before where we tell the person the number 94 we ask for an answer I'm gonna just put in garbage 101 and then we see we're doing a conversion right here of our answer into a base 2 number so if we pass 101 here, we say this is binary, base 2, and we convert that. What I actually pass with 5, 5 is not equal to 94, so we won't get into this block that seems to be doing the decrypting. But we don't have to, we have the code right here. We don't have to play this game, we can just skip this check if we wanted to. So, for example, I can do this in the live debugging session if I want. And then print the flag. Or I could have just taken this block of code and I could have put it elsewhere. You don't have to be debugging. You could have just used an editor. So let's go ahead and let's put it right here Say flag equals that and then we'll print the flag I'll stop this we'll run it again and you can see before the prompt the prompt is right there we had the flag written out so many ways to approach this. You can actually answer the question and learn a little bit about binary. You can make some edits to the code. You can approach this many different ways. Thanks.